What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another abnormal video. I just whipped up breakfast. As you can see, oats with some eggs and toast on the side. So I just had breakfast guys. That's usually uh, my normal breakfast what I eat in the morning. So now what I usually do is have a banana and a protein shake and then I'll prepare my meals for the day. So I've got work later. I work in a gym as a personal trainer if you guys didn't know already. So I do need to prepare my meals and also like set an example for my clients as well. So yeah, I do prepare my meals and I'll have that and then I'll come back home and then prepare dinner. So stay tuned for that. Okay guys, so I got my banana here and protein shake. I'm using a Vita Good blender. I just think it personally that it's a lot easier just to blend my protein powder and my coconut milk. So I'm use, using coconut milk for this shake. Um, I usually use either coconut or almond milk. But yeah, this is a decent shake. Check it out. Literally press this button here and it whips it for you. Like, look at that. That's mad. Such a dope shake. So as you saw, that was a really big breakfast. Hit all those macronutrient requirements. We've got the fats from the eggs, protein as well from the eggs. Um, good source of carbs from the bread that we used to make toast and also the oats. So it's gonna power and fuel our day. So I'm gonna prepare my lunch now for you guys. Um, I'm gonna work later, so I'm gonna prepare myself some tandoori chicken, broccoli and sweet potato. Very simple to make. Quick tip for you guys, I go to my local butcher to get my meat because I find it, it tastes a bit better. That's just my preference. You can also go to the supermarket, totally up to you. Um, but yeah, the butcher is a lot cheaper for me as well. So I can get a whole chicken for like £2.75. So it's a lot cheaper compared to the supermarket prices. Okay, so I'm going to clean the meat now. So if you guys are offended by this, I'm sorry, but this is just my preference. I do eat meat, I do include it in my diet. So that's everything prepped. We've strained the broccoli, so we're just gonna let everything cool down. Look at that lovely chicken, all nice and golden, perfect. And same with the sweet potatoes. All right, we're gonna let this sit for a few seconds, and then we'll pack it up when it's cooled down a bit and ready to eat for lunch. Okay. All right, guys. So those are my meals prepped for lunch. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna again let it cool down for a bit and just close it up, um, ready for me to pack it when I leave the house. So that's how you prepare. A nice macronutrient packed meal so I'm at work for around like six to eight hours depending on how many clients I have um, sometimes I'm in and out so I come back home and eat this or I eat at work depends how long I'm staying at the gym so what I'll do is I'll eat one first for lunch around maybe like 12 one ish then I'll obviously have like a two three hour gap and then I'll eat the other one so I continuously eat something throughout the day maybe like every three four hours or so that's the idea. So I want to try and keep eating meals because for me personally, I find that's the best way I can um, kind of keep my muscle. Like uh, my body isn't in that catabolic state. It's not burning any muscle. So I'm constantly eating something to give me that source of energy. All right, for those of you who are vegetarian or vegan, don't worry, you can replace this meal um, by replacing the meat with the likes of quinoa, tempa, seitan. They're all plant-based proteins, um, complete protein. So if you didn't know already guys, your body needs um, 20 essential amino acids form a complete protein. So 11 of those you can create by yourself in your body and then nine of those you have to obtain from your diet. So meat is one source where it's just a complete protein. So meat, fish, um, yeah, complete source of protein. Whereas other plant-based um, food sources, they, they don't have complete sources of protein, but some do. So the likes, like I said, of quinoa, tempa, seitan, they do as well. So if you are on a vegan or vegetarian diet, just make sure that you have a large variety of different um, grains, pulses, um, nuts, all kinds of seeds really, just to make sure that you get those 
um, essential amino acids in your diet. What's going on guys? I just finished up with a few clients So I'm gonna grab some food first because I'm really really hungry and then after that I'm just gonna train a bit and then head back home. So yeah, as you can see got my food in the microwave So just warming up and yeah gonna munch on that now So now we're training I've started off with a few planche sets because that's what I'm trying to improve on right now my statics so did a full planche, here's a funny fail for you guys <laughs> So yeah, I tried to hit straddle planche there but didn't quite work out, I lost the balance But yeah, just really trying to focus on building up my endurance when it comes to holding those planches man Like this was a push day for me um, I tried to do around 2-3 sets on each exercise, so on the parallels and on the floor And just do max holds man And then when I do get tired I also involve a resistant band So what I do is I tie it to a pull up bar then tie it around my waist and I will just perform the progressions as shown and as, as I get tired like I think my form as you can see there was still quite a pike in my in my planche so I tend to regress it then so I went back into like tuck planches and just tried to hold it as long as I can so that's how I really train statics I mean when it comes to skill training I always tell people to practice it often uh, if you can daily providing that you get enough rest and obviously if you feel tired then then rest but yeah, here's a, a little set that I did on the handstand. Again, working on the 90 degrees handstand push-up. Also squeeze out a few handstand push-up reps. So again, as you can see, there's a long, long amount of time under tension here. Um, yeah, just trying to work on control as well. And as you can see, I'm not taking a, a long rest. I'm taking very short rests. So I'm literally just trying to fatigue those muscles and it, whilst also keeping good form. So quick tip for you guys, if your main focus is to just build muscle, then what you want to be doing are sets of reps and you want to be going close to failure or to failure. Whereas if you want to build up your statics, so you want to you know, improve your planches, your levers, then you want to be also kind of training frequently and often. So as much practice as possible, taking long rests so you're fully recovered and really work on the quality of each like static hold every set. So at the end, here's like a kind of muscle building kind of routine that I did. I just went to uh, failure really on elbow exercise. This is a really good body exercise that isolates the tricep muscle, works on your core as well. Um, but yeah, I find I get a really nice stretch when I do these in the triceps. And also I superset or triceted it with two other exercises. So I also did diamond push-ups, which you're going to see in just a second. And also kind of like a body weight, kind of tiger bend type. Um, extension or push-up so recently I've been always doing like weighted dips weighted push-ups um, five by five so low reps um, higher volume so now I'm switching up doing more endurance type work uh, you know just changing up my routine and I find like I get an even greater pump so I think the key is to constantly keep the body guessing what's going on guys we're back home I can't even lie, I'm quite tired, I'm not really feeling to cook, so I'm going to quickly whip up something that we can put in the microwave. So I'm going to have some quinoa, uh, as you can see here, some tuna, sweet corn, and some kind of like red kidney bean sauce. And then we're going to have it with some chapatis, so some rossi, yeah man. So yeah, this is going to be a quick, easy meal to make, and I'll show you how to do that right now. And there we have it, final meal of the day. So what I usually do, got my chapatis on the side, I might like break it off, you know, scoop up some of this and just, just eat man. So yeah, this is dinner. So you gotta do man, break some of this off, grab some of this. There we go. Taste test. Mm, mm, mm. Um, that was so nice. You have to try it, guys. Whew, I am full. Belly's feeling nice. So, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the vlog today. Um, just a day in the life, really. That's just my usual routine. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you took something out from it, like you learned from it. Uh, that's my main thing. I just you want you guys to, you know, learn and progress with your calisthenics journey. 
But yeah, um, having said that, thank you so much guys for 60,000 subscribers. It means so much to me. We managed to hit 60k the other day. And yeah, man, I just feel blessed. Like I want to do this full time for you guys as well. So I want to make lots, lots of more videos for you guys. So all you have to do is just literally subscribe to that button, like this video, share it. Just keep, keep mentioning this channel to your friends, everyone, because I just want to keep growing it and then see where it goes from there, man, because I do really want to do this full time for you guys. So if you can make that happen, and as always, comment, like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. I've said it like 5 million times now. But yeah, man, it's been your boy Tyler from Abnormal Beings. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys next week with another video. Peace.